I get it. You smack dab in the middle of a vicious breakup. Get down in the dumps. Life ain't the same. You don't know where to go. You don't know who to turn to. Then your girlfriends, your homeboys, they have a bright idea. They want to get that person as far away from your mindset as possible. So they try to hook you up. Yeah, dread a rebound. They trying to get you in a position to have a rebound relationship. Nine times out of 10, it never works. So today, let me give you three tips to help you overcome that relationship breakup that don't involve a rebound relationship. Number one, eliminate self-doubt. You gotta change your mental channel because those negative thoughts, those negative demons, they gonna pop into your brain and say, oh, you can't live without him. Oh, you can't live without her. But I'm telling you right now to your face, yes, you can. And yes, you will because you did it before. And listen to me, lock in with me. You will do it again because you're bigger and you're better than that. And that person was removed from your life for a reason. So embrace the change. Close that chapter of your book and prepare yourself for your upcoming winning season. Number two, do you. You spend so much time doing and doing and doing and giving and giving and giving to that person that you've been neglecting yourself. It's time for you to do something for you. Remember who you are. Remember your likes. Remember your wants. Remember your dreams, your goals, your aspirations. It's healing time. You're scarred. You're battered. You're wounded. You're bruised. And for far too long, you've been treating all of your wounds with neglect. And now they become infected. And the only way to treat your infection of self-neglect is with a massive dose of self-respect that only you can administer. And that's why it's so important that you start doing for yourself. Do more for you right now and watch that healing take place. And number three, I know. I said overcoming a breakup that doesn't involve a rebound relationship. So I take that back. Because the rebound relationship needs to be with yourself. See, this is the perfect time for you to fall back in love with you. So number three, rebound with yourself. This is the moment that you have to reintroduce you to you. So I need you to eat like you love yourself. I need you to move like you love yourself. I need you to speak like you love yourself. And above all else, I need you to act like you love yourself. Because self-love is the best love. Besides, you know that relationship been over. Y'all was just wasting time. And you never can get that time back. So moving forward, it's time for you to set some boundaries. Set some standards. And don't go crawling or looking for love in all the wrong places like you so often do. You don't need a rebound relationship to find the love that's already inside of you. So it's elevation time. And that elevation will lead to massive celebration of you. So I need you to do yourself a huge favor. Eliminate that self-doubt. Do you. And rebound with yourself. And once you do that, you'll find that you're climbing over the hump of that breakup and making each and every day of your life a Wednesday. This is a great day to win. Let's go.